welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. And I'm very pleased to have actually Michael Moda, who's the Director General of the United Nations office here in Geneva itself, the boss in a way. Um, mm -hmm. So tell me, what's the importance of creating a platform for international dialogue on the future of AI such as this one? It's absolutely crucial. We need to have these conversations in order to make sure that we, meet, we, we move forward in lockstep. Uh, with all the different actors and, and, and stakeholders that need to be part of this. Business, governments, in, uh, in industry, the public, etc. We all have to be, if we don't craft a conversation that actually is as inclusive as possible, we're not going to be very successful in, where we, in, in, in the impact of what we are trying to do. And impact is the order of the day. Now, you have 17 sustainable goal objectives, basically. Yes. Um, can AI fit into that? I think AI can fit, not can, must fit into every single one of them. I mean, this, the, 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 global, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, are our global roadmap to an extent that we've never seen before in the way that we have done development and that we have tried to improve the lot of our fellow citizens. And, our, and it in, in artificial intelligence and technology in general is absolutely crucial to make sure that we actually get to where we want to go, which is to do away completely with poverty and every other attendant activity that, uh, that, that the 17 goals represent. As you know, there's a lot of ethical questions floating around around AI as well about the improper use of the technologies. That's something which you're obviously worried, troubled about or concerned about anyway. Well, that gets us back to your first question, which is precisely why we need to sit down and talk and have a conversation and have agreement on how we're going to regulate the use of these technologies and AI, how we're going to inject ethics into how we use them, how we're going to make sure that whatever these technologies are going to be used for are going to be used for the betterment of humankind. On a personal note, you have a lot of experience as a peacekeeper, working peacekeeper. Could you, with your previous experience, have thought of maybe how AI could have helped you in that way? I think that AI can help in many different ways, also maybe in some areas that are not so mechanical. For example, I. Um, we have been thinking and we're working on, uh, on how we can use AI in mediation. How can we facilitate and help the, those who sit down to talk peace in, uh, in having a better uh, framework and a better tools to actually do so based on something a, a lot more solid than just assumptions. So there there is one. Uh, I think that in many other areas, uh, you know, making peace uh, more and more as we move, we understand uh, we have a better, more sophisticated understanding of what the root causes of the problems that we're trying to address are and what the solutions are as well. All of this under the, can, can fit under the rubric of prevention. In order to do real prevention, you have to move up the timeline a lot more than we're doing now, where sometimes we try to make peace two minutes before midnight. Um, and their technology is absolutely crucial. And finally, one thing I've noticed is that this time around, all the agencies, all 32 agencies of the UN are involved in this project, which yes. means that it's obviously a priority. Of course it is, because we are talking about impact. We're talking about the SDGs and uh, we have been talking about them a long time. Now the focus is on the implementation, on the, on the impact on the ground, on how this actually is going to change the lives of people, give them greater well-being than they've had before, make sure that we actually do the prevention we're talking about and ultimately that we, do, that we make peace. Peace is also the absence of, it's not just the absence of war, it's the absence of poverty, it's the, uh, it's the inclusion of social, uh, the social inclusion. It's, uh, you know, we face a lot of big problems right now. We're going climate change, huge potential to use technology and AI in, in tackling this most massive of our problems, that is climate change. Food for thought, Michael Muller, Director General of the United Nations Office here in Geneva. Thanks again. Thank you.